Yo boys, it's uh, DJ Alice Power here. Um, just want to make a quick video here talking about two clones. Um, and I figured we'll start with this guy, as it is at the moment the most expensive clone out there. It is the EX9 with the Damascus Live Blade. Um, Damascus pattern looks very good. So a big fan of how it looks. Um, with this one, you get the carbon fiber inlays based off the V1 um, EX10s, or the EX series. Sorry, I'm just kind of used to saying EX10. Um, but these are the V1 style carbon inlays. Um, the newer ones just kind of slant down instead of having this swoop, I guess. So like instead of going down like that, they would just kind of cut off like that. So, yeah. Um, they feel really good. Um, texturing is on the carbon fiber as well. Um, it's not super prominent, but it does help with grip, considering how smooth carbon fiber is. Um, I have no problems with grip on this thing uh, at all, so that's good. Um, I put barrels in it, um, basically just a bushing and one washer on each side, just due to the fact that it is two handle bias with the stock spacers. Um, they are just full-on um, titanium blocks here, and then there's the rest of the hardware. So, yeah. I also replaced the screws with M3s. So, just kind of the usual stuff. Um, but yeah, it flips uh, pretty good. Um, it's not like the best out there. The standard EX10 trainer and live blade even flip better than this. Um, what I was going to do is I was going to get an EX10 clone, the regular hole pattern one, and swap out the trainer blade for this and then put this on the hole pattern handles. Um, but uh, I'm just selling it, so... Yeah. Like, these aren't bad. They can fan. Um, they can do rollovers just fine. It's just it's not very good at, like, anything in particular. Um, it doesn't have Kraken Syndrome where it's boring because it has no character, because this definitely does. Um, it's handle bias with minimal tip weight is just not very good like it it has definition to its balance it's just not a good balance um the problem with blade shapes that aren't like tantos or um even things like bowies kukris uh anything like that um they will have weight towards the tip which allows you to have good fanning that's like the whole idea of weight distribution um for valleys and then, of course, you want all your weight towards the end, so you put, like, block spacers, or if it's channel, you leave most of the material towards the end. That's the whole point of it. Because um, if you put the weight towards the middle, you can't use it. There's nothing you can do, and if anything, it just fucks with your balance. Uh, you can't really do a whole lot. So knives that have, like, this leaf-shaped blade, um, same as, like, the Kimuras. Kimuras have the leaf shape. Um, that's why Wee Hawks are usually pretty bad. Um, Bowies aren't that good either, unless you have minimal rear weight. Um, just, you know, things like that. It's, it has a lot to do with weight distribution. That's exactly why I don't like the, uh, Falcon Live Blade. Um, but yeah. So, just wanted to go over why it's not that good, because I already know I'm going to get comments on why I don't like it. Um... So yeah, if uh, you comment that, I'm literally just going to leave a timestamp to this part, because obviously you didn't fucking watch. But yeah. So it's not bad, it's just not worth the money. Um, if you want it as an art piece, it's pretty good for that, because this is a very nice looking knife. Um, the only quality control issues that I've had with this thing is I didn't get very good bushings with it, and the carbon fiber isn't actually fully in, like if you see on this one back here. It's not flush with the handle, um, even on the outside. And then the other handle is, like, perfectly flush. So just little inconsistencies, same on the other handles. Like, this one's pretty good, this one's pretty good. But this one and this one are pretty uh, not good. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and tolerance check. I tuned it so it has no tap. I 
uh, sound test on this guy, it doesn't really have any great sound. Not very bouncy or anything, but yeah. Uh, the edge does come pretty mean. Uh, this thing cuts hair no problem. The tip is pretty nasty as well. So, uh, yeah. Again, it's not bad, it's just not very good. There are things that are way cheaper that you can get that are better than this. But that's just my opinion. So, yeah. That's the X9 clone. Um, and then the other clone I want to talk about is the Nautilus, which I've gotten a ton of DMs about. So, yeah. Um, I tried getting an Oreo one, and they sold out really quick. Thankfully, someone on secondary was reselling it, so I snagged it. Um, and I can tell you, it is literally just a Nautilus. If you look it on YouTube, and you're like, hmm... I want a Nautilus, right? And you watch a video of an actual Nautilus, this is the exact same thing. It is literally one-to-one, -one, no exaggeration. I have owned so many Nautiluses. I have owned, like, six of them. And I can tell you this is the exact same knife. Tolerances are pretty good. Um, minimal play. Oh, it's coming loose. Normally it does have no tap, but it looks like I gotta tighten it. Um, the Oreo has the black blade and the black handles, obviously. They are very clean. Um, fit and finish on this guy is fantastic. Um, just a quick side note, Bally Plus is definitely stepping up their game recently. Um, pretty much every Bally Plus product recently has been extremely fucking good. Um, pretty much everything after the... the 4X T-latches, so like the 47, the 43, the 42, and the 42S. Everything after those has been really good. So like they revised the Replicant, that's really good. They redid the Squid Trainer, which I have on the way, because I feel like that's going to be really good, because I had one of the old ones and they sucked. And I think the new one's going to be really good. So I got that on the way. Um, I got the Poseidon on the way, still waiting on both aliens. Um... What else? I know I have other stuff on the way. I just can't think of. Unless that's it. I think that's it. The Poseidon, both aliens, and the Squid Trainer clones. So. But yeah. If you've ever wanted a Nautilus, but you don't want to spend the price tag, get one of these. It's the same knife. The balance is the same, the feel is the same, the sound isn't as good for some reason. So yeah, it still sounds pretty good, it's just not the same as a real knot. so, yeah. Again, if you want a Nautilus, you just get this. I'm telling you, I've owned so many of them, it is the same knife. It has that slight rear bias to it, where it drags on fan a little bit, still very light, pretty blocky. Um, I would say that's the only real difference, is it's a, a little more blocky, it's not as rounded on the G10. But, like, if you really care that much, you can round it yourself. Um, oh, and the G10 is textured. Um, you can see it there. It's got some texturing on the G10, and that's the only differences. The only differences is the roundness, the texturing, um... The Bally Plus logo, and that the screws are T8. And that's it. Flips the exact same. Bushings are pretty good. Sound a little different. 
flips the same. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any stupid fucking questions, leave them down. I'll probably answer it. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.